A rectangular garden is 100 meters by 80 meters. There is a path along the garden and just outside it. Width of the path is 10 meters. The area of the path is. Alright. So what do you see here? There is a rectangular garden. The dimensions are given to us. Right? 100 meters by 80 meters. So the length here is 100 meters and the breadth is 80 meters. Alright. So you know the length and the breadth of this garden. Next you say that there is a path along the garden. Right. So there is a path along the garden and just outside it. So basically we have uh, uh, you know let's say footpath or a boundary here which is just outside the garden. I put the dimensions again but it is get the figure right. So this is the path just outside the rectangular garden. You understand? So this is 100 meters. The length of the garden is 100 meters. Its breadth is 80 meters. And then there is a path outside it. And the width of this path is 10 meters. Right? This is given as 10 meters. This 10 meters. Right? All along the sides it is 10 meters. And we have to measure the area of the path. Right? What will be the area of the path? So basically the shaded region here. Right? What is the area of this shaded region? Alright? Now how do you get that? See, you know the length and the breadth of the inner rectangle. Right? This is like a rectangle inside a rectangle. So we know the length and breadth of the inner rectangle. Length is 100 and the breadth is 80. Now, to find out the area of this path, what do we need? The length of the, we need the area of the outer rectangle and area of the inner rectangle, right? What is the area of the shaded region? Outer rectangle minus inner rectangle, right? Outer rectangle minus inner rectangle will give us the area of the shaded region. Now, to find out the area of the outer rectangle, we need to, the, we need to know the length of the outer rectangle and the breadth of the outer rectangle. Can that be determined? Yes, very easily. See, this length is 100 meters. Right, this length is 100 meters. So, what will be the length of the outer rectangle? Are you able to follow? This length here is 100 meters. What will be the length of the outer rectangle? 100 plus 10 plus 10. Right, 10 on this side, left side, and 10 on the right side, extension. Likewise, uh, uh, what is the breadth of the outer rectangle? See, this breadth is 80. What will be the outer breadth? 80 plus 10 at the bottom and 10 on the top. Right, so 80 plus 10 plus 10. So, area of outer rectangle minus area of inner rectangle will give you the final shaded area, right? And outer rectangle length and breadth can be determined here. That's one way of solving the problem. Otherwise, what can we do here? See, very simple to understand. You know that this length here is 10 and the breadth is 80. Alright? So, let us let us look at this. If you understand, uh, or, or let, us, let us go by the regular method. Here. I'll, I'll show you the smart method later. Let us first solve the question that way. So, this shaded region or the area of the path, area of the path can be taken as outer rectangle minus the inner rectangle. Outer rectangle minus inner rectangle. What is the length of, uh, area of the outer rectangle? Length into breadth, right? Length can be taken as 100 plus 10 plus 10 into breadth will be uh, 80 plus 10 plus 10. 80 plus 10 plus 10 minus inner rectangle. What is the area of the inner rectangle? Length into breadth. We know that length and breadth directly here, right? 100 into 80. Now simplify this. 100 plus 10 into 10. 100 plus 10 plus 10, 120. 120 into 100 minus, this is 100 into 80. How much is this? 12,000 minus 8,000, which is equal to 4,000. So 4,000 square meters will be the area of the shaded region, which is option D, right? So very simple question. I mean, this is not a difficult solution. You can, of course, cut down a few steps here, all right? So all you need to worry, I mean, all you need to be focused about here is the length of the outer rectangle and inner rectangle. I, I know where we have gone from. Generally, what we do here is, we know that the width of the path is 10 meters. So length of the outer rectangle, you take it as 100 plus 10 to 110. And breadth of the outer rectangle will be taken as 80 plus 10, 90, which is wrong because see, the length is extending by 10 meters on both the sides. 100 plus 10 plus 10 should be the actual length, outer length. And likewise, this should be 80 plus 10 plus 10 because breadth also is extending on both the sides, on the top as well as on the bottom there. So 120 into 100 is the outer rectangle area, area and 100 into 80 is the inner rectangle area. Just take the difference and you'll get the answer. Alright? Otherwise, if you want to simplify it, right? I mean, if you don't want to do this or if you don't get this idea, what's the other way of getting the answer there? See, just forget about all this. You look at this. This is the rectangle that we have. 100 meters and 80 meters. So the length here is 100 meters and the breadth is 80 meters. Now we are like constructing a path outside it on all the four sides. 
What is the width here? 10 meters. On all the sides it is 10 meters. So here it is 10, this is 10, at the bottom it is 10 and again on this side also it is 10. Now if you look at it, what is the total length of this inner rectangle or basically the perimeter of this inner rectangle? 100 plus 80, 180, 180 plus 100, 280, 280 plus 80, 360. Right? So we know the th uh, perimeter of this rectangle 360. Now if you if you open this, right? now it is like a closed box on which you have created some path outside it. But if you open what happens, there will be a straight line of length 360 meters which has been extended by 10 meters on outside. Right? This width is 10 meters. What will be the area of this region, total region? 360 into 10, 360 into 10 which is equal to 3600. Alright, but as the question says that the path is along the garden and outside it. Now if you look at it, this is not covering the entire garden. There are some spots left out, right? These four corners are left out. So let us understand what is the area of each of these corners, right? Area of each of these corners. So look at it. This width is 10 meters and this is also 10 meters, right? This is 10 and this is 10. So what will be the area of this portion here? 10 by 10, 100. And how many such corners do we have? 4 such corners. So 100 into 4, 400. So we can say 360 into 10, 3600, which is because of the perimeter of the rectangle. And at the 4 corners, we get 400. So what will be the total area? Are you able to follow? 100 into 4, which is equal to 400. So what is the total area of the shaded region? Outside is 3600, this part, and 400. 3600 plus 400, 4000 will be the answer. Alright? Okay? Option B. Now you might be wondering, why do you follow this method when the solution can be obtained easily by the previous one, right? Outer rectangle area minus inner rectangle area. Well, that is correct. Easy to do. You get the answer in just one step. But this is important in case, instead of length and breadth separately, the perimeter of the rectangle is given. Right? Sometimes to make the question complicated, he may say that a rectangular garden has a perimeter of 360 meters. The perimeter of a rectangular garden is 360 meters. And then there is a path along the garden and just outside it, the width of the path is 10 meters then what is the area of the path. Now the point to be noted is, when only the perimeter is given, you cannot identify what is the length and the breadth individually. Right. Here, because it is given as 100 by 80, we know this is length and this is breadth. But let's say instead of giving this, if the question says the perimeter is 360 meters, then what is length and what is breadth? There are n number of possibilities, right? Length can be taken as 300, breadth can be 60. Total perimeter is 360, right? So 2 into L plus B equals to 360. So we can say L plus B is 180. Now L plus B is 180, they have got infinite solutions, right? L plus B is 180, number of solutions are there. In that case, finding out length and breadth will not be possible. So there you go by this approach. That the total perimeter is 360. 360 multiplied by 10 will give me the shaded region here. And at the four corners, it is hundreds, four hundreds. So 3600 plus 400, 4000, option D will be the answer there. Alright, so one question, but can be given in two different forms. What is given here is very simple, but to make it complicated, we can just say, perimeter here instead of length and breadth. However, go well prepared for the exam because menstruation is a very important topic when it comes to uh, the SSE CGL exam. Alright?